Victory is here, my friends. Today is Hey Tevis Didan Natsach, which means we won. Today is a very, very special day in Chabad, and it's a special day for the Jewish people at large and for the world at large. What is going on? Today is the day where our, our Rebbe and us as a whole were victorious, and we were victorious in a court. To go into a little bit of the details of what happened, of course you could read more about it on Chabad.org or I'm sure you could find many sources which explain this beautifully. I'll give you a little background. The Rebbe noticed and Lubavitch noticed that a few of these very holy books in the Holy Library of Chabad, holy handwritten scripts and holy books were stolen. And after, you know, after investigation, it turned out that a person, they found out who stole these items. It turned out that it was a person who was related to the, the previous Rebbe. And this person's claim was because he's a relative of the previous Rebbe of Chabad, he deserves these books. They're, pro they're his property and he's allowed to take them. He's allowed to sell them. He's allowed to profit from them. He's allowed to do what he sees fit with them. They're his property. Whereas the Rebbe said, no, they belong to, to Chabad. They belong to us. They're, they're not allowed to be taken. And this was brought into after it didn't go to a Jewish court, it ended up going to a secular court. And in the secular court, and by the way, to emphasize a very important point, which has to be emphasized, has to be realized when, when, when understanding this idea, is that the Rebbe explains that everything that happens here in this world is sourced from above. Everything that, every event that takes place here in this physical world is representing and revealing what is going on above. So when this went to court, they, they asked the Rebbe, the wife of the Rebbe, who is actually the daughter of the previous Rebbe as well. And they asked her, Rebbe, who do these books belong to? Do they belong to, do they belong to the Rebbe or do they belong to the Hasidim? I mean, do they belong to the Friedrich Rebbe where there's a, where you can, there's room to say that actually his descendants, the previous Rebbe's descendants, the previous Rebbe's relatives can inherit this book, or does it belong to the Lubavitch? Does it belong to the Rebbe? And Lba uh, like, can these books be taken by this person? Does he have the right to take them? Basically, who do these books belong to? And the Rebbe answered something unbelievable, something that that we have to all think about a little bit. The Rebbe said the following: These books belong to the Chassidim because my husband belongs to the Hasidim, and because my father belongs to the Hasidim. Meaning, it's not a family thing. Chabad is not just a family thing that these books get passed from generations. It's not just about whoever's the Rebbe, his descendants get priority, and his family gets priority, and they get the books, and they get to keep and do what they want. No. These books belong to the Hasidim, because my husband belongs to the Hasidim, the Rebbe said. Because the Rebbe is part of the Hasidim. It's not a family dynasty only. We are all a part of Lubavitch. And this represents all of the Jews at large because Lubavitch is not just the Lubavitcher Hasidim, it's not just the Lubavitcher Rebbe, of course it's the Lubavitcher Rebbe, but the world doesn't generally call him the Lubavitcher Rebbe. Usually, the Rebbe is called the Rebbe. <laughs> if you see most of my videos, you see most of many people, people's videos, if you say the Rebbe to someone, it's clear who, who we're talking about. Because Lubavitch's goal Lubavitch's ultimate goal, and the Rebbe's ultimate goal, is to, to, to reach all of the Jewish people at large. Not just that the Lubavitch people who are from a Lubavitch family should be connected, but all of the Jewish people at large should be, should be allowed and, and encouraged to join this mission. And this is the beauty of what Hey Tavis is all about. That we are all a part of this mission. It doesn't matter where you, what you've done or, or who you are. The fact that you're alive here right now means you have an opportunity to get involved. And Hashem and the Rebbe are interested in you. And, and another point here is the Rebbe explains, why did this all happen? Why did this whole court case take place? Because listen, it's it's interesting that we're there's a court case and we're celebrating the victory. And it was a very long court case, by the way. It took a lot of time until it went to this, this stage. And that stage, it was a long and carried out court case. And finally, Baruch Hashem, we experienced victory. But what is all going on? The Rebbe explained this is all happening. It all happened because there was a taina, there was a claim that Lubavitch is, a claim in Shemaim, in heaven, that Lubavitch isn't doing enough to reach people worldwide. 
The Rebbe said, now we have to take our service of Hashem and our mission to spread Judaism throughout the world to the next level. And this was answered with our victory, Dida Natsach. So we, being Chassidim, we all, being whether you're a righteous Gentile or whether, of course, you're a Jewish person, and whether you're, and you know, and being a chassid of the Rebbe, being connected to the Rebbe, the Rebbe, meaning the Rebbe is interested in every single person. That the, the uniqueness about Lubavitch is that we've seen with the Rebbe that, I remember, I'll, I'll share a little story, personal story. Someone once told me something that not so nice about, God forbid, about Chabad. What did I say to him? I said to him, I said the following, I said, listen, if you're in Guatemala, <laughs> or you're in Thailand, and you want to get some kosher food, or you want to get a Hanukkah menorah, who's going to care about you? Who's going to look out for you? My friend, it's the Rebbe. The person said to me, you're absolutely right. Where do I sign? <laughs> and I think that describes the very essence of what Lubavitch is all about, what, what Judaism is all about, is, is loving your fellow to the point where, even if you've never met this person before, the fact that you're alive, and they're a creation of the Almighty, means that they're worthy of my effort. They're worthy of my attention. They're worthy of my care. This person, they, they had not nice things to say. I said, listen, if you're halfway on the ro around the world, who's going to worry about you? It's the Rebbe. The Rebbe Shluch is 2.5 miles away and has a Hanukkah ready for you, has a house open for you, has a bed, in, a room and a bed open for you to stay. The person said to me, you're absolutely right. Where do I sign? Meaning, this is what the Torah is all about. The Torah, Hillel and Shammai. Hillel, someone came to Hillel and he said, what's the Torah about? The time that I could stand on one foot, meaning the, like 30 seconds, how long could a person stand on one foot? Time, the amount of time that I could stand on one foot, tell me what the whole Torah is all about. And what did Hillel Zakin say to this, this, this fortunate fellow who got to experience this famous moment? He said to him, love your fellow as yourself, and the rest is commentary. The whole purpose of Torah is to love your fellow as yourself. And this is what our mission is all about, to love our fellow as ourselves. And this is what the Almighty wants from us. We are all created in the image of the Almighty. Therefore, we have to come together, guys. We have to show love for one another. It doesn't matter where, where you're from. It doesn't matter what your minhagim are. It should never get in between our love for each other because the Rebbe says to us, a little bit of light expels a whole lot of darkness. We have to be a light. We have to be a light to each other and we have to be a light among the nations. The Jewish people are called a goy kadosh, a holy nation, a light among the nations. Therefore, let's take this day into our hearts. Let's experience victory. Let's celebrate the victory of the Rebbe. Celebrate the victory of the world at large. And may we celebrate this victory with the ultimate victory, with the coming of Mashiach. Mehei Rabbi Yameinu. Today, Hashem. May we experience the coming of Mashiach right now.